Hello, this is Carrie from Cookbook Divas. And if you've been watching our Cookbook Divas videos for a while now, you know that I'm kind of a lazy baker, but I like to say I'm, I'm busy. So I'm very excited to look through one tin bakes easy. It's about the only way I'm going to be baking lately is one pan to mess up, easier to clean up, as few ingredients as possible. This is by Ed Kimber. It was a gift to us from Kyle Books, the publisher. Thank you very much. Let's check it out. Foolproof cakes, tray bakes, bars, and bites from gluten-free to vegan and beyond. Okay. Ooh, it starts off very orange. Uh, you can find Ed Kimber, the author, at The Boy Who Bakes. And here's the chapters. I love this giant font. If you've seen some of my other videos, I'm always whining because the font and the contents is so small. This is great. Introduction, the basics, one bowl and all-in-one cakes, bars and cookies, five ingredient bakes, no bake treats, desserts. Well, I feel like the entire book is desserts, but okay. Starting off with the introduction and a beautiful picture. Off to a good start. We're immediately jumping into the basics chapter. I like this so far. Okay. What kind of tin do you use for one tray bakes? You can't just use a cookie sheet. That's different. Notes on scaling down the recipes. Gluten-free notes. Vegan notes. How to make vegan eggs. I think I'll skip that part. And I'm vegetarian, not vegan. Butter, fat, and cream ingredients, etc. Sugar, vanilla. Beautiful picture. And now we're into the next chapter. One bowl and all-in-one cakes. It starts off with a beautiful marble cake. It says that it serves 12 to 15. That makes me want to scale the recipe down, but if you're going to go to that much work, might as well make a bunch of it and it'll keep. Just wrap it up or share with the neighbors. Uh, grapefruit poppy seed snack cake. Sounds good. Ooh, here's a beautiful picture. Rhubarb and cardamom cake with brown butter streusel. Espresso caramel cake, olive oil, pistachio, and lemon snack cake. I always worry that an olive oil cake is not going to be moist, but that's not a logical worry. Banoffee poke cake. Chocolate chunk peanut butter snack cake. And a beautiful gingerbread cake with fennel roasted peaches. That would be nice to serve during harvest to kind of get people ready for the thought of Christmas is coming and holidays. Uh, lemon and lime courgette cake. Now we know it is a UK cookbook because they didn't say zucchini. I got to get to the next chapter because I can't show you the whole book. Bars and cookies. These are nice to bring to events or school bake sales. Here's tahini brownies. Tahini just makes me feel like it's too healthy. Oatmeal ginger slice. I like bars. Here's blueberry sour cream bars because then you have just a little bit to eat. It's more than a nibble but it's not as much as a piece of cake or a piece of pie. I don't need that much sugar all at once. Chocolate chip pecan pie bars or lime melting moment bars. Those are gorgeous. Love the color. Uh, dream bars. Hmm, looks kind of messy. I don't know what that is. PB and J thumbprint bars. There's a lot of peanut butter in this cookbook. I sense the author is a fan. Here's a beautiful picture of lemon bars, my personal favorite and the things I would so far be most likely to make out of this cookbook. Next chapter, five ingredient bakes. Starts off with sesame milk chocolate shortbread. I don't care for milk chocolate, so I wouldn't make those. I need dark chocolate. Here's a simple pound cake and four ways to serve it. Brown sugar tahini scotch -a roos 60 second clementine cake. Hello, now you're talking. This is beautiful. French apple and passion fruit tart. That would be elegant to bring to someone else's house. A salted lemon treacle tart. That works if you like treacle. I do. Swedish toffee cookies. Okay, I gotta get to the next chapter, but look at this pretty picture. Brown sugar ricotta and olive oil cake. Okay, now I'm going to the next, which is no-bake treats for even lazier people like me. How about summer mango tiramisu? Beautiful chocolate chip cookie bars that are no bake, blood orange vanilla granita, cornflake crunch bars I wouldn't serve to an adult but I would to a kid, <gasps> chocolate mousse tart. Chocolate mousse is my favorite dessert and now you've gone and put it in a looks like cookie crumb or crust tart, even better, popcorn bars, 
cheesecakes, English toffee, and a beautiful PB&J slab cheesecake. Let's get to the next chapter. Desserts. The whole book is desserts. Here's a Funfetti Arctic Roll. <laughs> That's cute. Funfetti is always fun. That's why it has fun in the name. Lemon and raspberry trifle-ish. Looks very forgiving if you make a mistake. Magic custard cake. Hmm, I'm not much of a custard fan, but maybe you are. Here's something. Lazy pie. My picture should be right here in this cookbook. <laughs> I'm not sure what they're... Granny Smith apples, lemon, corn flour, caster sugar, puff pastry, milk, and demerara sugar for sprinkling. Yeah. Here's a beautiful rhubarb and custard pavlova. We're getting to the end of the book. And there's a sour cherry croissant bread pudding. And an index. That is really cool. I'm thinking that 110 Bakes Easy would be a great Christmas biff, gift for the busy cook in your life. I wouldn't hand it to them and go, you're lazy. Merry Christmas. But it's a great gift for someone that brags about being busy. So that's by Ed Kimber. Definitely enjoyed it. Really fun. I'm going to go turn the camera off and look through it and maybe think about making some lemon bars today if I'm not too lazy or busy. If you'd like to see more of our cookbook reviews and look-throughs, you can find us at cookbookdivas.com. We post videos to YouTube, we post cookbook news to Instagram and Facebook, and we have a podcast for those of you that like to listen about cookbook news. Thanks so much for watching.